Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedom and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country. In the courtrooms of America, Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedom. The best thing to happen to public elementary schools in many years is the Good News Clubs. Hi, I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action. Matt, the Good News Clubs are sponsored by Child Evangelism Fellowship, which is now in over nearly about 180-plus nations of the world. But there's about 3,000 to 4,000 of these Good News Clubs that are part of Child Evangelism Fellowship that are in the elementary schools all over the country. We need one in every one of the elementary schools, frankly. But these are great opportunities to bring the good news to a public elementary school environment. That's right. And and, uh, lives are being changed. You know, Child Evangelism Fellowship is a wonderful organization. And these good news clubs, as you mentioned, uh, are are sprouting up all over the country. They've been around for quite a while. Uh, They have been challenged on a number of occasions. And in, I think, nearly every instance, if not every instance, Liberty Council has been there to defend them in court with a 100% win record. Uh, This is, is all clearly constitutional. And it is an opportunity uh, for children to learn about uh, the gospel of, of Jesus Christ, and but but as importantly, to learn about biblical principles and how those principles can change their lives for the better. Well, Citizen Magazine recently featured an article uh, regarding the Good News Club, and it's called Schoolhouse Rock, and it talks about the 2001 Supreme Court decision regarding the Good News Clubs. It came out of New York where the school districts there allowed everyone to use the school facilities except for the Good News Club because of its religious viewpoint. And the Supreme Court ultimately ruled in favor of the Good News Clubs. And that was June 11, 2001, when that decision came down. And that decision has opened up the doors to elementary schools around the country. Liberty Council, as you mentioned, we represent Good News Clubs or Child Evangelism Fellowship around the country. And thus far, we've never lost a case at the end of the appeal process. We've always won every single case. And the laws are very, very clear that good news clubs have a right to be on the public elementary school campus if the school has other secular, similar type of programs after schools. These good news clubs are typically after school. So if you have the Boy Scouts or if you have a soccer league or some other kind of program for the elementary school students, then the good news clubs have a right to be able to be there. And they teach about the Bible. They sing Christian songs, they learn Bible verses, but they also learn about some of the great biblical characters. And through that process, they learn character development, Mm -hmm. morality, and respect for each other, for their teachers, and for their country, and for obviously for God. And uh, this is the best thing, I think, that can happen to a public elementary school. Yeah, you know... uh People need to understand that the uh, the United States Constitution guarantees the freedom of religion, not uh, freedom from religion, as groups like the Freedom From Religion Foundation uh, uh, seems to believe. And the courts have ruled over and over again, not that we need the courts. I mean, the Constitution is very clear on this matter to, to, to begin with. But, you know, you know, heaven forbid that a, that a child should be exposed to the Ten Commandments and the principles therein. And, and uh, you know, instead of we have, you know, uh, the Glissons organizations, the, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Alliance networks springing up in schools all around the country. So the Good News Clubs is a, is a counterbalance, a moral counterbalance to to the uh, immorality that is being uh, certainly um, uh, seeded throughout uh, uh, elementary schools and middle schools around the country as well. Well, there's a great success story in Greenville, South Carolina, and I had the privilege of being able to speak to a banquet there a few years ago. It's very well organized, and the people there are very dedicated to this work. Out of the 106 elementary schools in Greenville, in that area, uh, the Good News Clubs are in 100 of those 106. So they nearly have a 100% saturation within this school district. They have 1,125 volunteers. They show up every week. In the other six schools, the principals chose not to have any after-school activities, so it's not like they're not there because of lack of work on the part of CEF. 
It's just that they don't have any programs for the students after schools. So this is a great opportunity. Not all particular areas of the country are that well organized. That's really a model for the country. But, you know, here we have uh, K through uh, 5, which is kindergarten, that elementary school through fifth grade. Uh, those are like uh, 5 through 12 or 13 years old. Those individuals are very uh, influential and uh, very uh, in, in easily influenced by the environment that they're in, around. And in fact, um, George Barner wrote a book called Training Champions and Turning Champions and in, uh, Children into Champions. And he said that uh, essentially 85% uh, of people who have accepted Christ mm -hmm. as their Savior have done so before the conclusion of their 13th birthday. 70% of those who have chosen to go to full-time mission works have made that decision before the conclusion of their 13th birthday. Well, and, and there are children uh, around the country, many, many children around the country who may have a family life where, where church and exposure to the truth of the gospel is, is they are not blessed with that opportunity. So the Good News Clubs bring the truth of the gospel to those children who otherwise would be uh, left standing alone in the wilderness, you know, without without the knowledge of the saving grace of of, uh, of Jesus Christ and and the reality of biblical truth, objective reality of of biblical truth, and how it can transform their lives. So so these good news clubs are are serving an, an incredible uh, uh, benefit. They're providing an incredible service to to uh, thousands of children uh, throughout the country. Well, we had a situation where. Um we filed our a suit back in uh, several years ago against Los Angeles uh, Unified School District. We ultimately won that case, and the Good News Clubs are operating there now. But we had an affidavit from a bus uh, driver and from some uh, former principal at a previous school who's now a principal at a different school, and they said that they notice a difference in the behavior of the students after the Good News Clubs came on campus. Uh, when the Good News Clubs came on campus, the, the kids – uh, respected each other more, had a better demeanor, respected their teachers uh, better as well. The parents said that their uh, children actually gave better respect to them as parents. And, you know, no, no wonder why. They're getting the good news. They're getting the gospel, the liberating gospel of Jesus Christ. They get stories such as Joseph, where he was be betrayed by his brothers, thrown into the pit, and then he rose to prominence in Egypt. And when he had the ability to take revenge on his brothers, instead he forgave his brothers. And that lesson is used to say, even though you might be in the right and somebody might have wronged you unjustly, don't take revenge out of them. Isn't that the kind of message that we ought to be sending to our young people? Well, of course, Matt. And, and yet the Good News Clubs remain, even today, even right now, under attack. Groups like the ACLU and, and other anti-theist organizations are strategizing on how to get the Good News Clubs out of the schools. You know, they don't want messages like do unto others as you would have them do unto you, I guess. They don't want uh, the message, children, honor your your father and mother. Uh, they don't want children having uh, engaging in mutual respect rooted in biblical truth. And, and so they are attacking the Good News Clubs. So now, more than ever, uh, Liberty Council is here and available to again defend the Good News Clubs, correct? No question about it. Yeah, we defend uh, Good News Clubs through Child Evangelism Fellowship all over the country. If you want to have a difference in your community, I encourage you to get involved in Child Evangelism Fellowship. You can contact Liberty Council, and we can put you in touch with their national headquarters. And you can find the state and then local uh, organization in your area. You can volunteer to be someone who's assisting. You can go through training for these good news clubs. You can be someone who is a contributor to these good news clubs. And if you're with a church, you can get the church to do what we call adopt a school. And that is have an elementary school that's in your area by your church that's adopted by that church through prayer and also through financial support and through volunteer support as well. Uh, these are great opportunities. It's an opportunity that we've had since 2001 to be able to take the good news to the public elementary schools, to literally take a high-powered, life-changing uh, experience to a public elementary school immediately after school. We don't know how long those doors will be open, but I encourage you to walk through those doors and take this opportunity now. And get involved with Liberty Council because we're there fighting for these good news clubs and other religious liberties, sanctity of life, and family issues around the country. Go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. Sign up for The Liberator. 
newsletter and the Liberty Alert email. There's also the Grassroots Action email right there on the Liberty Council website, lc.org. You can also remember Liberty Council, which is a nonprofit organization. All that we do, we do pro bono at no cost with your prayers and certainly your financial support right there on the website. You can also go to our other websites, libertycouncilconnect.com, libertycouncilconnect.com, which links all of Liberty Council's resources and enterprises in one website. You have been listening to Faith and Freedom with Liberty Council. We hope that we have motivated you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedom. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email updates. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.